we're looking at a low electrical service drop to a residential unit. HLMP, the electric provider, just provides attachment to the pole. They do not elevate the line to the proper height. It is up to the homeowner to get his masthead elevated to the proper height so that when they connect, the elevation of the electrical lines is out of the way. Nowadays, when you pull a permit, you want to update the wiring to the box. Before HLMP will put their power back on, you must elevate your masthead. Let's take a close-up look at the electrical connections where HLMP crimps onto your connections. What we want to do is look at those connections and make sure those crimp tights show no signs of electrical overheat conditions. The top one shows signs of electrical overheat conditions even though we get a poor focus. Okay, what we're looking at is the electrical service drop, HLMP service drop. These are crimp connections. Connect one wire to another and they're crimped. You want to check those to see if they show any signs of overheating. Much like a scotch lock or wire nut that shows signs of overheating on the connections. Do you see anyone with an overheat connection? One out of three, looking good. Let's get in close. What I'm looking at is a connection. Notice how it's an insulated conductor. That is a ground id, ed, ground id conductor, a hot wire, a 120 leg. Notice how the crimp fitting has failed. Notice how on the black wire insulation it has bubbled up. This would be indication of you occasionally will lose a 120 leg here. Not as serious as losing a neutral or having a loose neutral situation, but again, this is a repairable type of issue.